Thank you for watching our videos. We've now been seen in every say ninety countries. Ninety, 90 countries. countries. So we love making smoothies at our house because they help us get our vitamins, minerals, and energy. Everybody, show your muscles so that we can be strong and healthy. Uh, one of the new smoothies I've made that I love is called. Strawberry banana because it tastes just like strawberry banana from McDonald's. So we're going to try and make it again. First time I made it, it was perfect, but I didn't get the measurements. So let's try it again. See if we can get the exact measurements. Oh, all of our names. So everyone's growing up. Aiden just turned seven. Carter is now five. Amara is almost three. Don't touch him. And Bella is three months. And she's ready for her nap. So let's hurry quick. Three seconds smoothie. Carter, apple juice. Five. Apple juice, apple juice. Do, do, do. Go ahead. So, Bella has allergies to all dairy products. Soy. All products with soy in them. One cup apple juice, one cup strawberries, one frozen banana. Throw it in there. And we're going to blend it like this. You can also add a little bit of vegetable if you want. Here we go. So this one, I, I'm going to give the kids a little try, and then I'm going to add a little vegetable and see the difference. brown spots on them, then take the peel off and just stick the whole banana in like a Tupperware in the freezer. Let it freeze overnight. Um, the strawberries, it will taste a lot more like strawberry the more you go heavy on it, but it's still really good. If you want it to taste more like banana, you can add two bananas. Um, what do you guys think? Super good? Okay, we're going to keep this video going. We're going to add a little bit of vegetable. I cannot get my kids to eat dark leafy greens. Amara will eat them. which is packed with vitamins and minerals. And now I'm going to have them try that and see what they think. Tell me if you guys can taste the difference, if it's still good. 
Tell me what you think. It tastes. Try it now with this. You have to try it. Try it with this. Did you try it? What do you think? That tastes awesome. Yeah. It was really good. So you can double that recipe. That would be two cups of apple juice, two smaller cups of strawberries, frozen strawberries, two small frozen bananas, and a half a cup of romaine lettuce stuffed in there. So that would be kind of a bigger recipe for us. We just kind of all got a taste of this one. So anyway, super great. Um, kids, you're all excused. Treat now? Yes. Go out. This fish is treat, but you can have another one too for being good. Okay, go. Okay, so all you moms out there that have had colicky babies, I have had four of them, and it's extremely exhausting. And I've had a lot of health problems myself being pregnant and postpartum. Be quiet, I'm rubbing my thing. So anyway, I decided if I was gonna have baby four, then I would have to do it right. So I found out what right means. It means eliminating processed foods, dairy, like soy is in almost every processed food. So she's just tired right now, but anyway, she look how huge she is. She's in six to nine month clothes. She's in six to nine month clothes, and she only three months old. She grew so fast. She is so happy. She smiles all the time. She sleeps eight hour blocks at night. She doesn't cry unless I don't eat a perfect diet. So when I have grains, it makes her have baby acne. So she doesn't do well with the gluten. When I have anything processed, she screams. If I have anything with dairy, she screams. Anything with soy, she screams. So I have a lot of chicken and I put it in oil. I fry it up in a wok with a little bit of oil and a little bit of salt. It tastes awesome. So I do a lot of stir fries. I do hamburgers um, with no bun. I just put some ketchup on it. I do a lot of these smoothies. So a lot of my recipes I alter to just not have any dairy. So I have to eat more meat to have more. Is it cold? I have to eat more meat to make up for the lack of protein. But it's pretty much a whole foods diet. Water, nuts, meat, fruit, and vegetables. But it makes my baby so happy. And I love that because I can get so much done when she takes a three hour nap and then wakes up happy and plays for two hours by herself. So she'll eat, burp properly, play, and sleep. When I don't, say I have a cookie. Put that on the table, please. Say I have a cookie or something like that, or I eat anything that has that's processed of any kind. I have to check the ingredients of everything. And she'll, her stomach will inflame, and she'll just scream all the time. So anyway, I just I'm telling you this because I figured out how to make my baby so she doesn't spit up and she's not fussy, but it's just a matter of willpower and knowledge of how to eat that way. So I use green smoothies. We have a quart for breakfast every morning of my pro or advanced green smoothies. I use these as snacks because I need something to put in my mouth that's approved. So. Anyway, that's how I do it. That's how I get vegetables in my kids. Aiden is such a picky eater, so I make sure he either has Shakeology or green smoothie in him every day. Um, Carter's become a very picky Ta eater, so Ta I do that too. Mara eats everything, but these still balance out her diet, keep her healthy and strong. So anyway, I hope that I can help a lot more babies stop crying by helping their moms who are breastfeeding to do it right and to help you guys just live happier lives. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful happiness to help day. Bye. Cookie. Say bye everybody. Bye. Bye.